what is up guys welcome back and today we have something a little special for you guys um uh, you know what i don't even know what to say i'll just get right to it look no you are not seeing double this is jericho's next project as you can see um i mean it looks just like mine it is identical to mine it is not a, unfortunately, it's not a real Lancer Evolution 4, but it is a 2001 Mitsubishi Mirage Evo 4 replica as far as the styling goes. And yes, it is in very rough shape at this time. This is probably the only time my car looks extra clean compared to this one. <laughs> so, well, this car he actually purchased from my brother who uh, lost interest in it after we did his Subaru. So it just sat for about a good year, actually. Actually, over a year, for sure. So um, Jericho was kind of eyeing it, and he just kind of threw threw the idea out there, of saying uh, maybe I should pick that car up, and then we'll, we'll do something to that. Maybe I'll, I'll finish what my brother had tried to, or what my brother started, or what we always intended to do to this vehicle. So we'll see. So I guess we'll start a new... Uh, I guess you could say a new build before that one's even done yet. <laughs> but, um, I mean, not not so fast. Uh, no, not, not so fast at all. I mean, definitely um, stay tuned with us to see how far down the rabbit hole Jericho decides to go with this car. Oh, it's going to go full on. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, can't wait to see that. Um, just a few little quick things. It does have Evolution 8 Recaro seats. It does have an Evolution 8 uh, steering wheel. It has the original Lancer Evolution 4 gauge cluster. Uh, every body component or part on this car is original. Um, Lancer Evolution 4 from the wing, the trunk, the bumper, the, the rear apron, the side skirts. Uh, it does not have its front splitter right now. It is in the trunk. That is because uh, my brother got into a little fender bender. So you can see um, we are missing a fog light it's pretty shattered out there uh, those original fog lights are extremely expensive now so we gotta <laughs> see what we go with that I mean I remember when when I got my stuff it wasn't so expensive or even when my brother got his stuff um, it really wasn't that bad uh, he did purchase everything from England and they did ship it, everything to him I remember one shot and that was already like okay because I remember we got the he got the car in 2007 is when he purchased the car so yeah okay he's had it since like 2008 looking well it used to be very very clean let me see if i can find some uh pictures for you and post it up okay there you go so what we're gonna actually do to start off with this awesome car and once again we've always been a fan of mitsubishi's and the older Mitsubishi's that we could never get our hands on over here in the States. Um, Jericho being more on the Filipino side did have access to these cars. Yeah. And, you know, what well, we didn't, so we're not that awesome. So what we have to do is obviously we have to make them. So that's the best we can do. And uh, Mirage is pretty much an un an unevolved Lancer. So everything does bolt onto the vehicle. Uh, there is really no modification needed. Um, the fenders are Evo 4. There is a difference between Evo 4 fenders and Mitsubishi Mirage fenders. Uh, they are a little bit more elongated to fit a bigger wheel. And also the bumper would not fit on a Mitsubishi Mirage if you try to just bolt it to the fender. It would be like that much off. <laughs> so other than that, everything was pretty much a bolt-on affair. So what we're going to do is uh, get this thing pretty much ready for inspection, uh, smog inspection. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to do all the standard service, nothing too exciting. We ain't putting no turbos on it. We ain't swapping no motors. Or we're actually doing something that can be done within a few hours and not a few years or months or whatever. <laughs> so uh, let me just show you what we got here. We are using our favorite oil, uh, Ineos. It's... Uh, well, according to the bottle, it's Japan's number one oil. Okay, we go with that JDM oilness. We will be servicing the transmission also with Ineos. 
Uh, we'll be changing our spark plugs, got a fuel filter there, air filter, and we'll be um, pretty much draining the rusty water or whatever's in there and replacing it with brand new coolant. Also, it does have um, a valve cover leak on it, so we do have a valve cover gasket set right there that we will be replacing as well. And um, we did already throw seafoam into the oil yesterday, just so Jericho can drive around with that in there and, and kind of clean up everything. Uh, we're going to let it pretty much settle here. The, doing the oil change will be the last step, so that way it has time to all the to let all that crud and sludge or whatever might be in the engine settle in the in the pan so we could pretty much drain out all the junk and replace it with awesome oil so um yeah i mean as far as uh i mean we'll follow jericho on this uh, journey as far as he goes so i know first he does really definitely work about worry about the the looks of it and we do too <laughs> And it's pretty much as he's doing the body on this one, I will probably be following and doing the body on mine follow, finally. So uh, we do need to remove that bumper and see what's going on because uh, the original Evolution 4 bumper is really weak. So it really can't take a hit. Um, pretty well, The rear bumper is the same way. That's why the Mirages had bigger, goofier bumpers that pop out really far. Same thing with the rear bumper. Uh, it's probably less than half of the original Mirage because there's not really that much of cushion or bashing in between the body itself and the bumper. <laughs> so cool. So we're going to go ahead and get this up in the air and we're going to start draining. Um, we'll start draining the transmission and the coolant. Uh, we got the valve cover off. Um, I already actually changed the spark plugs on there. Um, Jericho pulled the bumper off and uh, he's seen what he can do about straightening out the support. But as you can see, let me just go ahead and flip it real quick. You can see how the actual bumper itself isn't really much. It's just this um, thin gauge steel that's just kind of bent in certain ways just to mold to the bumper. Uh, yeah, so he's almost got that off. You can see we can need a level this part out this part's bent on it uh, this part was sticking down to where the fog lamp was not able to be removed unless we bent that up but um it should be not that big of a deal probably somehow put on the vice and um i'm gonna try to pound it flat um pretty so, much see where we have our leak at usually on these uh on these mitsubishi valve covers um when the bolts the 10 millimeter bolts get over tightened these will pretty much bow down and start to open up the gasket channel right here and it'll cause a leak so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the the right size uh, socket and uh, pretty much put the another flat surface underneath like another socket and start tapping on it to see if we could flatten that out a little bit and kind of close up the channel a little bit more so we don't get a leak because we were getting a little bit of a leak from the back end over here so and it looks like uh put silicone on it so so you shouldn't need silicone that's why there's a gasket but um silicone does save you once in a while so let's see what we can do
right, we got all the initial services complete on that. We did the transmission service, we changed the oil, we changed the um, valve cover gasket, we changed the spark plugs, we changed uh, the fuel filter, and we dumped in a brand new air filter. Uh, what we're going to do now is before we do the coolant, we drained it and we filled it up with water. We're going to let it run a little bit and then we're going to drain it and um, refill it with coolant. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check for fuel leaks because we know how those go sometimes. So go ahead Jericho, turn it to on. It's on. Off? On? on? Okay, one more time. Okay, I think we're all right. I think that is okay. Fire it up. Fire it up. All right, back to life again. I think we do have a small exhaust leak on it. And we got a bolt backing off right there, a nut backing off right there. So, you hear that power of that 1.8 liters of fury? Cool. Just let the let it cycle a little bit and then we'll drain it and refill it with the coolant. Let's see. Alright, let's move on and see if we can straighten that uh bumper guard bumper back. Yeah, that's the bumper. That's that's it. That's that's the whole bumper. That's what's this is what's supposed to save you from uh maybe if you hit a small dog or or maybe I don't know, a little, what is that, a little sapling, but yeah, that's that's it, that's the whole bumper for uh, Evolution 4. Rad. Alright guys, we managed to straighten out the bumper support as much as we can, and we're about to reinstall it um, by the looks of it. This side may be up a little bit, but it should kind of uh, bring itself down when we when we tighten it back up. So let's see. Let's see. This yes, sir. And then these these parts sit on top, and in between the light and the there's like a little shelf for it. There you go. How's that lining up? Push her on in. Let's have a look. Gee, we better. Okay, I think I think we got it. I think <laughs> when when it bolts down, it should uh, actually raise itself up like this after it bolts down, and then we can bolt this on. So let me get under there and uh, arrange it. Nice. And there we have it. It went on. It went on nicely. I mean, um, for the way it was. It was just kind of dangling on there. It was really bent on this side. We had to keep um, rebending it back and forth just to get it to this point. So, but it's gonna leave the fog lamps out of it for now since one of them is shattered anyway. And um, yeah, this is barely the beginning, right? Thanks, John. <laughs> good, no, really. jo good job, John. Good job, John. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, yeah, just. Um, I'm pretty much worrying more about the looks at the at the moment just to get it looking nice and clean once again bring it back to its former glory or even better than it ever was which i'm sure in jericho's hands will be will be so I'm already getting there, nice <laughs> there, there you go <laughs> all right guys so um what's next for this there's so much yeah i know but what's what would be the next step I don't know. Well, the the well, body, the body. Oh yeah, paint and body. Okay. But we're gonna continue fixing all the things that need attention. Yeah, that's right. Like axles. Oh, that's right. We need to change the axles on it because they are worn. They are vibrating. Uh, Jericho wants to bring it down a little bit lower. Also, that'll give us a a good opportunity to check the condition of the coilovers. This does have coilovers on it. It does have case port, uh, just like mine. This one is actually the second um, run or uh, the install because the, the original ones that my brother had on here had already worn out. The front ones had locked up 
and just because of all the the slamming on the street the camber plate actually cracked on it and uh, this so this this is a new one actually both sides are newer and we replaced the the actual strut cartridges uh, he did that I oh man that was still quite a many years ago but mine are still on there since 2012 so mine are doing okay because I know he used to like to turn the dampers up really high oh, when I drove home yeah that thing was like a rock that's right and that way when we do lower we can actually mess with the preset on it to make it a lot more comfortable and um, you know let's go from there just check it on out um, you gotta go do your inspection so I believe you are ready for that um, I know we do have a f small electrical issues with this car as well the tachometer speedometer is not working we do have a spare wherever it is I don't know where it's went it's on the floor, it's on the floor. No, that's the, the that's the CRVs but we do have a spare uh, Mitsubishi Mirage gauge cluster that's a uh, CRV oh, you put the wrong one in <laughs> Da -da -da. There you go. There, this is actually for a Mitsu. This is actually my original one that my car came with. I did have the LS model, and the LS model is the only one that actually comes with a tachometer. On all the other Mirages, they just one big speedometer, temperature, and fuel gauge. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to send this home with him so that way he can try it out. And then, yeah, there we go. And then we did just notice that he is missing or I think um, when my brother got into that little fender bender he broke the JDM side marker so he's actually running the Mirage side marker these are also original Evil 4 headlights they do have a little driving lamp or city light inside unfortunately it looks like the the plastic lens is cracked right about right around there and also all the little tabs are broken on it and the little uh, retainer or little tab that the side marker bolts onto is also cracked as well. But this side's still okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that one actually looks like clean and that one's all, yeah, that probably just got some condensation in it as well from the cracks on it. Uh, but yeah, so tell us what you guys think. Um, what or what we should do um, Jericho's still kind of up in the air and what color he wants to paint this um, he does definitely want it a dark color so I don't know if he wants to go full on the uh, black like the original evil force used to be used to come or what's going on here Try to pop this out. Should I pop that out okay yeah right yeah should do that hopefully I remember once upon a I remember once upon a time those were cheap too <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> oh, you're gonna put the okay. He's gonna put the matching USDM memories. All right. Yeah, keep that one. Maybe you'll find the right one, the right side, and then you don't have to buy the pair. Right. Because that one's still in great shape. So yeah, we'll probably look for that. We are trying to make contact with um, some Evo dismantlers or wreckers over in the New Zealand area. Kiwi. Some Kiwis. Hopefully they can help us out with getting uh, some replacement parts and then maybe some um, awesome parts later on. Ooh. So cool. Well, anyway, uh, the battery in my camera is about to die. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comment you have below. And please hate on this. Yeah, you guys can hate on it. <laughs> People are like, it's automatic. It's, it's got a 1.8. But hey, it looks cool. And we don't see many of them. Actually, I do see my own on the street and and this one that, that's it that's all i really ever seen around around this area but i'm sure they exist but anyway all right guys you have a great night